In this video, I want to show you how to uh, create cinematic black bars opening like what you are seeing right now. So if you have some videos and uh, cinematic black bars like this can make your video more dramatic. So in this video, I will show you how to create this effect right in Nomura 9. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is James and I help you to leverage text so that you can create greater impact in your life. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to drag your clip onto your video track here. Like what I've done and match it to the timeline. So next, what I'm going to do is actually just to uh, mute this first. Okay, so this is the footage that I just recorded earlier for this particular video. Okay, so first what you want to do is to just uh, right click and click on crop and zoom and select pan and zoom okay so select pan and zoom and over here you have your uh, normal pan and zoom uh, function so what you want to do now is that you want to sort of uh, change this ratio to custom all right so this is the green box or the rather the bluish green box is to start and this is the end so what you want to do is you can either uh, switch this around or you can also change this by uh, changing it to a, a zoom out rather than a zoom in next what you want to do is again for the ratio change it to custom and you want to make this as small as possible okay now i found that the most i can get it small is to about 77 and then next what you want to do is to align back this box to the center of uh, your frame and then leave it there and you can actually see this from the green bar over here and next, what you want to do is to stretch it out to the side so that you can have the full width of that video, which will show 1920 by 720. And then uh, for the end point, what you want is to click on the blue box here and change it to say somewhere around here. Okay, and I'm going to move the one at the top down as well. All right, so maybe something like this. Again, you want to center this. So to center this, all you need to do is to make sure that the bar is matches the two things. Okay, so you are good to go. Click on OK. Now this is opening rather slow because uh, it is actually opening up throughout the end of the entire video. So if you want to open it faster, so let's set a time. Let's say we will do it in say about four seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split it so over here. All right, so over here. You'll notice that this actually opens up the entire screen okay and let's say on this part of that video clip now on the other clip if you want it to hang in the sense that you want this box to remain this size what you can do now is actually to swap this around and change it to crop okay and click on okay so now as you play the video you will hang over here and the black bars will be on that side so it wouldn't change any further. You can make this effect even greater by adding the right kind of music to your video clip. I did the same for the next clip and I added the sound and you can actually see the impact over here. And you can actually look for it in YouTube audio library. You can filter for genre as well as for attribution, whether attribution is required or not. I hope that this video tutorial has helped you. If you want to learn more about video editing, check out my links below. I have courses to HitFilm Express, Filmora 9, Shortcut as well, so that you can pick your choose the video editor that you feel like starting off with. One other thing before I sign off is that YouTube has recently stopped email notifications so if you are my subscriber and you haven't been getting my emails uh, let me know in the comments whether you want to receive uh, notifications directly from me i am thinking of either using email or even uh, starting a telegram channel uh, so that if you put your name inside or sign up to my telegram channel i will not let you know every time i upload a video so that would be just another way for us to stay connected 